Welcome back guys. Let's continue working here. I'm just going to speed through this section here so that you can uh, see the gist of it. I mean, there's no need to watch all this right here uh, while I do this. Here I'm going to make some uh, uh, wooden fences so that uh, it gives the axle a little bit of a definition so it makes it look like there's a, a sp some spokes in the going out to the hub You can see here, just by putting in this first axle, how the, the wheel isn't, is in a circle. So we need to fix that here, um, which is one of the reasons why I'm putting in the, uh, the, the spokes to get this right, because making a nice uh, circle with all this stuff in the way makes it a little more difficult. But when you don't have the ability to fly around and you got to do everything manually, you have to do what you got to do. Finally, it looks like I got the shape of the water wheel right. I'm going to tear out all the uh, dirt here so I can make sure, but it looks pretty circular to me. So here we are back at the water wheel and we've got it symmetrically designed um, and all set up. We gotta pull the top back because the water wheel's a little bit too far over the side. Um, that won't be too bad to do. Um, it's like one of those cleanup things that you really want to do when it's closer to uh, getting stuff done. We'll just yank this back right now. Um, what we'll have to do though is we're gonna have to control the way this actually will flow Always can fall in water without hurting yourself For the horizontal pieces here. I'll probably end up putting something other than fence because that looks really silly um, I haven't decided what to stick in there. I might stick I've seen some out there with horizontal fencing, so we might, or horizontal stone fencing. Uh, I might do that. We'll see how things look. Um, let's dig this down a little bit deeper so that it's actually, um, you know, not embedded in the ground, but actually going below the surface of the ground, so. Looks like we just popped open the, uh, the cave system that's down there. Uh, let's 
see if we can fill that in right quick so it doesn't... Uh... flood us all out. Um, but what we still need to do is we need to dig this one notch deeper. And the interesting part is this part of the cave down system down there, I have never been down there, so I don't know what's actually down there. Um, I do believe there's a witch or something down there, because I've been hearing it move around, and maybe a zombie or two. We might go down there and actually block that off right quick. Since all this is actually under the water, I think I'm just going to prevent other things from spawning down here. I may try to block most of this off as well. Um, that way, I don't have to worry about digging out and it caving in and... and anything like that, or things spawning down here underneath this because that would be the last thing I really need is more spawns and things moaning and groaning down underneath that. I'm not sure if I can actually plant it here, but it turns out I can. Now with this appropriately dug down, I mean provides a good trench and everything so we'll just we'll just flood this all out right here actually I'm not gonna flood it out I'm going to dam it off and then I'm going to actually use a bucket of water create water flow down in here. Of course, you know, once you get enough water in here, you get the uh, infinite supply of water. So we're back and we got all this taken care of. As usual, I like to keep a full water bucket of water around just in case anything. Um, we'll knock out these spots here and what you'll notice is there's a couple of hollow spots underneath there where there's no water. So we'll actually have to put some water in there. But actually we can't because those are where the stairs are, but that's fine. Um, see the stairs are right there so we won't put anything like there we'll dig out these blocks right here though so that it's a little more consistent all the way through there so it looks like the wheels turning and turning and turning so that creates the underwater appearance of the wheel flowing 
Um, now what we're going to have to do in order to get the water to flow directly down the wheels, we're going to have to control how that water will flow. And that can generally be done by just simply building up some edging along the side here. And it'll force the water to flow only in a specific specific path. Still have to build up a little more, but we'll try that. And that water will flow right over the edge, as you see. Um, this side's actually pretty good. The other side, because like I said, it uh, really needed another build up. And in fact, <laughs> I knocked that out. It caused it to overflow there too. So we'll have to fix that. Sometimes it's just involving a little bit of trial and error to get a vertical shaft of water. Um, but once you do, I mean, it'll flow pretty good. I'll have to go get some more dirt blocks. may be a little more tricky than I thought because those stairs are causing it to not flow the way I want it to. When they hit the stairs, as you can see, it forces the water to flow down the side. There we go. So that's exactly how I need the water to flow. Hopefully it'll stay blowing that entire path and just walking along the edge. Uh, let's see if we're, we're going to have a little, little pain with it wanting to flow that way too. I'll work on that uh, a little bit later. I mean, you don't need to sit there and watch that, all that. I'm trying to figure out the complexity of getting that water to flow in a channel. So now what I want to do is I want to have this shaft coming over inside the building. And I actually want, um, let me, in fact, let me try something here. I said I was going to make some stone. Fencing to see if that would actually do it. Let's find out if that will. Let 
and grab some more water. Never know when you might set yourself on fire. The mill building will actually be right here. Actually, I think those, uh... Those stone blocks may actually look pretty good. I think what we'll do... Let's see, this blocks the center. Uh, we'll actually build the building right here. And we'll keep it, I don't know, one or so above the ground. But uh, keeping with what I want to do is I want to keep it a, uh, a cobblestone type foundation down low. This will involve, of course, digging out some of this dirt and doing, putting in uh, a good foundation here. I collect up some of the other dirt that I knocked down because I don't want it to get away on me. A lot of times what I like to do is, if I'm building something, I like to incorporate the natural stone. Instead of, you know, tearing out the old stone and putting in, or tearing out the stonework and stuff that's already there, just uh, incorporate the stone that's already there, so. So you can see that's about, not quite as far up as I need to go. Uh, with the uh, that because we're just now at the kind of the, the center of the wheel and I actually want to go about one up so it comes in towards the ceiling of the uh, it goes in towards the ceiling of the bottom floor 